Hey, it's Conrad Fisher. How are you? Welcome to my office in the land of magic education. I'm just looking at some practice questions here, but mostly I'm looking for what is the most common wrong answer. Uh, the only difference between a brave person and a coward is a brave person panics forward. So it's panic in the direction of being wrong. And here we have a question asking simply, what is the most common presentation of a pituitary lesion or pituitary adenoma? And what causes an adenoma? Adenoma. The most common presentation of pituitary lesions, there's a right answer and there's a most common wrong answer. The most common wrong answer for pituitary lesions is by temporal hemianopsia. Tunnel vision is the most common wrong answer because large macro adenomas are not as common as micro adenomas. But you knew that. If I had asked you which are more common, micro adenomas or macro adenomas, you would have gotten that right. So how can a micro adenoma press on the optic chiasm? So the second most common wrong answer is headache. Because remember, you can't have a headache from the pressure of a microadenoma. So the most common presentation of pituitary lesions is amenorrhea, galactorrhea in women, because it's prolactin oma. Prolactin oma. And in men, it's erectile dysfunction, because that prolactin shuts off your FSH and LH, and you cannot have full pressure of Mr. Happy if you've got suppressed LH and FSH. So remember, amenorrhea, galactorrhea in women, and erectile dysfunction in men. The women are juicier and the men are drier. Galactorrhea from prolactin. Oh, these breasts outside are frightening and this milk is surely whitening when there's really no place to go. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Yes, you can learn all of this in this fantastic book, everything that you need for your step two exam or your step three exam. Click on the link to our question bank and do the sample questions. Watch us in the videos. Remember that I'm the one that wrote those questions and they're the most fantastic thing ever. Hope to see you soon.